Hey kids, Tavio Rider here with one last installment of Minecart Science with Powered Rails. So, some unanswered questions were left over from my last video. We were discussing what is the correct distance between powered rails in order to keep maximum speed in an occupied cart. And we came up with around 30. Um, and just to make sure, there was one experiment I should have done in that same video, and that was using a booster cart system where we know that it's going to stay pinned at maximum speed. How long would it take? And so you can see that with a 32 space between powered rails, you get about 15.53 seconds, and then using a booster cart, 15.33 seconds on average. So we know that that's about the right distance, about 30, 32 between powered rails. Now, the next thing that uh, should have been done in the science, but the video was getting pretty long already, is what's the correct distance between powered rails for unoccupied carts? So I had a, a very long booster cart run up so that I could keep a cart at maximum speed, timed it at 14.91 seconds. That was a little tricky to time because I had to time the start as this minecart was flying past, but it was around 15 seconds. The same kind of numbers we're seeing for the uh, occupied carts. And then uh, with five unpowered rails between each powered rail, well let me show you this one. You can see it pretty obviously. You can watch that cart slowing down between each powered rail. So it took 30 seconds. It took twice as long for an unoccupied cart to make it all the way around. Uh, with four in between, uh, 23 seconds with three in between 20 seconds so finally with two unpowered rail between each powered rail between each pair of powered rails 16.7 seconds so you do notice a time difference it's not maximum speed you can kind of see I don't know it's hard to tell but there is a slight slowdown uh, so it doesn't stay at maximum speed but it's close so this is a pretty efficient setup if you need to keep an unoccupied cart at maximum speed on level ground. You may want to go to every other rail, but that significantly increases your gold costs. So it's up to you. It's a slight hit if you go with only two in between. Now, here's the last one. How much powered rail do you need to take an occupied cart uphill? I did unoccupied before, and here's occupied. Um, and it took a long time to get this assortment of animals in there. Man, that's that's such a pain in the butt. But here we are. Um, and a similar setup to the last time. It's uh, every other rail slot up the hill being unpowered. Um, and then two powered rail and then a regular rail. Th uh, three powered rail and then a regular rail. And then powered rail the whole way up. So place your bets. Who's going to get up there the, fir uh, the fastest? It's really interesting that one of the carts actually gets a lead at the beginning and then falls behind, the chicken. Um, but here's, uh, you know, obviously the powered rail the whole way with the sheep is going to be the top speed. But the pig is keeping up. So you can get away with the occasional gap uh, and still keep maximum speed. He had a slower start for some reason, and maybe he's falling behind a tiny little bit but you can see that they're very very close so that's one two three powered rail and then a, a regular rail and this does assume that you have a little bit of a run-up you have to have some momentum going into it if i were to just start this straight on the incline with a little maybe manual push or something then the pig falls behind at the beginning so there's your answer um i think that notch intended that powered rail if you're going to go uphill you're going to pretty much have to have one powered rail for each bit of altitude you gain but you can get away with a little bit less i think it's just more confusing you might as well just use powered rail for every time you go uphill so that's it for minecart science with powered rail i hope this is helpful and uh i think we're done with the science for a while watch for my next video where i'll have a demonstration of a fully automated minecart station using powered rail